Hello there, everybody. This is King Mac, your friendly hamburger pal. Welcome to this feature presentation on YouTube. Be sure to enjoy a hot, fresh cheeseburger along with some delicious golden french fries, a tasty milkshake, and a nice soft drink. Thank you all for watching, and now sit back and relax and enjoy as Tony here brings you our feature presentation of TT Burger Game Reviews. Good morning everyone, how are you all doing today? Nice nice to see to see you guys up and early early today. I hope you're all ready for another TT Burger game review because we are back. I bring it to you my test drive series review episode 245 part 7 of 8. Getting very close to the end, and it's, it's hard, hard to believe that we're already, already almost done with this episode. And we're going to be teaming with our, with our Test Drive franchise review, as we're still in the Test Drive Off-Road Road, Road franchise side, Dad. And this was the last Test Drive Off-Road Road game in the game to game, or the Test Drive, test, test drive Off-Road series on the game to do, on the PlayStation, but we headed to the PlayStation 2 area. Before I got, I get a, I get a shout out, I want to get a shout out to Freegan HD, Subject of MS King Mac, along with um, Set the Hyperlamia, Brutal Stateside, Black Healer, Megs, Along with the homie RJ, Rockstar Pool 69, Uncle Jiva, the, the sen sen sensational gen, and more and more and more. And we have a lot to talk about here for, for, for episode 245 part 7 of 8. But before we get started here, let's bring it over for another TD Burger recap. Show you what you missed in episode 245 part 6 of 8. As I took a look at Test Drive Off Road 2 and for the PlayStation gave it a 6.5 out of 10 because there were some problems with the AI and the, the controls were stiff and just, just, um, it was an, 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 an average okay game, just didn't live up to Test Drive Off-Road 1, though. But it's still worth a rental and stuff, still worth to be on the flesh, I'm sure. But now we're gonna, gonna go to the year 1999 of, of Halloween, and this, this is when, um, Accolade was, was out of business and stuff. And we knew that there was going to be some more Test Drive coming, we didn't know what it was gonna be. And let's get started here, and we got the game. Right here, this is Test Drive Off Road 3 by Infogram, released on October 31st, 1999 for Halloween, and let's get started here. Test Drive Off Road 3 is the worst game in the Test Drive Off Road franchise. I didn't think that was possible, but it happened. Test Drive Off Road 3 has Rubber Band AI once again, but to an extreme level where it's impossible to win first place. In the end, you have a game that has strong production values loads of, and loads of content and more, but it just fails miserably. Which is sad because I know there was a good game buried in here, but I just couldn't, couldn't uncover it, which is sad. As we get started here, once again we have this opening FMB cutscene with, with all the vehicles and, and we instead of shows some killer tunes from Blink-182, Eve 6, Girls Against Boys, Incubus, and Diesel Boy. And we had to get started here. Once again, only two modes, not counting the, the multiplayer. Single Race and World Tour. World Tour is broken up into, into Divisions 3, 2, 1, and World Tour. And we, we pick a vehicle once again, we choose the Hummer, which is the main car in the game, and on the cover art. And we can start here, the game's graphics are good, better than last time, and have a lot of detail to them. You even see mud and dirt and snow pile up on your vehicle too, adding realism this time. The vehicle models look great along with the environments, and it's cool to see your, your, your vehicles handled realistically. When you're racing, you notice the problems very quickly. Sometimes your vehicle will stop at random times, and you'll have to hit hit the X button to start up again, or you'll have to hit it rapidly with, to, to get up steep cliffs and everything, which adds frustration that this shouldn't be needed. I don't know why this was needed, but this was not an issue in any other games, but it could cost you the race for sure. Along with the road band AI and stuff, it, it, can, it can add more problems to it. It was impossible to win a race because of this, and this is why Test Drive Offload 3 is the worst in the franchise. Like, why did they do this? I'll never know. Just made the game not fun, sometimes unplayable. Go through the division to unlock more vehicles, get an FB scene at the end, then do another division, and there we go. I did not touch on the sound here, but here we go. Sound is good, kick ass music by artists like I mentioned, like Pokemon 2, Eve 6, Girls Against Boys, Incubus, and Diesel Boy. All the tracks are kick ass, and a lot of these bands were, were new at the time, that's how I got introduced to the bands, like Incubus and such. And yeah, I know, that's how it was. 
I already heard of Blink-182 and he's sick, I watched a lot of MTV and VH1 growing up and such, but hearing Incubus and the other two bands, very nice, 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 nice for sure in my opinion. But there's no voice acting at all this time. While it is not needed for a game like this, it's just strange because Tester, the Test Drive Awful game before that had voice acting in them, so I'm saying. And I should and also mention the instrumental tracks sound pretty good too, and stuff. You once again travel around the globe, the United States, Mexico, Europe, and more, more, and the, the tracks are very cool, they're big and everything, which is not that, that big of an issue because, like, um, it's a little, it's a little bit, bit easier to not get lost and stuff, it's a thing. But when you get to the other divisions, you'll notice the race of the same, except for it being nighttime or dusk and dawn. And I will admit the nighttime levels are cool, but the darkness in them makes it very hard to see what you are doing. And there are a lot of steep hills that, that, that can stall your engine, making it harder than it should to get, get back on the race. Like you have to re repeatedly hit the, hit the X button multiple times to start up and add more to the frustration. And sometimes your car will just stop altogether, but you have to hit, hit the X button just to start up, which can get annoying at the short. And you'll go from, from first place to last place and second because of this, where you just want to shut the game off and play something else. I really wanted to like this game because of the problems I have with it and stuff. I it just failed my opinion. And I was sad because I enjoy off-road racing games, but this one did not really please me. I only recommend it as a rental or if anyone who has a hardcore test drive fan, and that's basically it. Final thoughts, this game could have been better, it was not very good, it was a disappointment, and I recommend playing the other games better. Due to the complaints I have with Test Drive Off Floor 3, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 10 because it's the best score I can give it, and I know it seems pretty low compared to the other Test Drive games and stuff, but still this is the best score I can give it for sure. And that's it for episode 245 part 6. Seven of eight. Stay tuned for the grand finale. We're gonna take a look at the final test drive off-road game on the PlayStation 2. Test drive off-road wide open by Angel Studios this time. Featuring music by Metallica, Quarshi, Cell Dweller, Unloco, Real 3, and more. How does this game fare jumping into the next gen hardware and stuff? Well you'll find out next, which is all I gotta say. If you like what you see here, you know what to do. Subscribe, like, comment down below, and click on the links to join my Facebook group, my Discord group, and my Facebook page. And just feel free to join and just comment down below. If all I gotta say, this is Tony. Peace and out. Have a great day and see y'all in my review of Test Drive Off-Road Wide Open. Take care, everybody.